In the 1960s, Gorongosa National Park was the crown jewel of Mozambique. Located at the southern end of the Great East African Rift Valley, Gorongosa was home to some of the most diverse wildlife in all of Africa. Time seemed to stand still here. But all this would soon change. In 1977, civil war erupted in Mozambique. Battles were fought within Gorongosa National Park and wildlife was caught in the crossfire. After the conflict ended in 1992, poaching was widespread. Over the next 10 years, as much as 95% of the park's wildlife was killed. Gorongosa was left in ruins. After the war, Gorongosa needed a partner to help bring back the wildlife and infrastructure that had been devastated. The Carr Foundation, established by technology entrepreneur Greg Carr, stepped up to meet this need and in 2008 launched the ambitious Gorongosa Restoration Project, a 20-year partnership with the government of Mozambique to co-manage the park. The mission of my foundation is to protect uh, biodiversity, but also to advance human development. And my colleagues and I believe that a national park is a wonderful way to achieve those two objectives. That not only does a national park protect biodiversity, but also it creates good jobs for people in tourism and uh, science and other disciplines. This is what we are aiming for. So we are uh, bringing to the, to the team young Mozambicans' talent and, and, and bit skills, and uh, we want them to manage the park in the future. When I observe a oxygen puro, when I hear the sound of passengers, I feel comfortable. Golden turtle woodpecker. Golden turtle woodpecker. Me sinto muito bem porque é a minha é a área que eu escolhi para estudar. Os ganhos da minha vida. E aprender. The project is committed to giving young students like Fernandinho the opportunity to be involved in the recovery process. Gorongosa's long-term success will depend on young Mozambicans becoming the park's future protectors. O trabalho que eu gostaria de fazer para a pessoa não fazer caça furtiva, não fazer fogo, não destruir o meu ambiente. Okay, we can do with uh, both of those. Come on over. Researchers from yeah. around the world travel to Gorongosa to study uh, its unique biodiversity. Two, two of the biggest ant yeah. in Mozambique. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are found very common everywhere here. Mm. But they form, they make colonies, mm. you know, like little yeah. towns. Mm -hmm. This one is a little one. This is its name. Uh, it's platythyria. Ah, platythyria, yeah.
Do princípio, a minha mãe, ela que me protegeu desde crianças, até ela perdeu a vida por causa de febres. E meu pai fez acidente com o carro do. Sim, eu estava triste, chorei, muitas coisas. Para que me ajude em todas as coisas. Para que me dê para e livros, o parque me dá, e as pessoas para me ensinar todas as coisas que eu estou a precisar, e a parte da flora e a fauna. Quando é que vai ser a Vai ser no dia 26 de julho. Onde? Minha matanda. Precisa de um conselho? Já. Yep. Agora para mim, eu tenho uma questão para ver se você percebeu bem ou não. O que é uma membrana semi-permeável? Membrana semi-permeável uhum. é membrana que deixa passar pouca solução. Depois de fazer o exame, o que você quer fazer? Hum, vou praticar o que eu estou para estudar, que é o, a vida selvagem. Então, vou ser meu gura hoje, né? When I first came here in 2008, we saw a few animals here and a few animals there, but it was incredibly difficult. Um, what little wildlife there was here was really afraid of us, but since that time, it's changed tremendously. O treinamento do Sr. Bobo me deu muita experiência de como eu se lidar com os animais, principalmente com o elefante, e me deu como usar a câmera. Daí, depois, começou a me gostar também. Fernandino é um menino que tem um real futuro aqui. He started kind of tagging along and hanging out and had an interest in the camera gear. So I just started bringing him along with me. We went through a lot, you know, we've been through thick and thin actually. See, they have such great memories, elephants. They remember people as being aggressive towards them. No tempo da guerra civil, os que estavam lutar não tinham outro sítio, de só tinham comida, não tinham cari. Vinham aqui fazer, matavam os animais como elefante, matavam os marfim. Às vezes outros que não queriam matar o animal, só que deixavam cair, cortavam os marfim, levavam e iam fazer troca com comida. E outros matavam os animais para alimentação. The name Gorongos actually means a place that is a lot of suffering. Soon after the war ended, for us civilians, the next step was what do we eat tomorrow or today? We would kill animals. I mean, we needed something to eat, and that's what killed most of the animals. Poaching is still a problem. We are working hard and over the last six years we have arrested and sent to court around 600 people for poaching. We have investigated the caça furtiva ao longo dos anos. 
mas as razões evocadas são as mesmas. Fome, falta de emprego, como dizem, e alguns casos ligados à tradição. Eram caçadores, os avós. Também é importante que a gente trave a caça furtiva. Nós estamos numa área de conservação, sendo a área de conservação tem algumas espécies que são protegidas por lei. Vou agora ler uma das histórias que as senhoras de Nhaoenge contaram para mim. The rivers are born in the mountain. They are born small and grow larger downstream. I've never been to where rivers like Mokoza, Zinganzinga, Nyawenji are born. Or even the Nyandari. We see them here, but never go to where they are born. I learned such a nice word, which is ecosystem and ecology. Here, everything is the same. Mount Gorongosa signifies a lot to the local people because of these wars that forced them to hide and because they had to stay in the mountain for many, many years. They ended up building their houses. They ended up introducing agricultural practice up there. And now it's becoming a very, very big problem with deforestation. Rain that falls on the mountain is captured on its densely vegetated slopes and is gradually released throughout the year. Deforestation disrupts this process and could impact Gorongosa's entire ecosystem, including downstream communities that rely on the water from the mountain. O interesse na Serra da Gorongosa é muito importante. O objetivo de lá é para plantarmos. Isto com o parque. O parque às vezes me envia no, para, o coiso, para a montanha, que é onde está o engenheiro da floresta, o engenheiro Pedro Magura. Eu costumo aprender com ele como conservar o meu ambiente, como plantar e é para termos a conservação. Aprender como fazer, como to conserve the environment. My name is Pedro Estevam Mwagura. I'm here on behalf of Gorongosa National Park. Yesterday, I started assuming the position of Director of Conservation Authority in Gorongosa National Park. This place is a tree nursery, which is one among 41 tree nurseries. And the capacity of this tree nursery is 100,000 seedlings annually, which means that the total capacity, according to our annual plan, is to produce 2 million trees in Gorongosa National Park. Para unirmos a força de modo a conseguirmos explicar aos que ainda não percebem do quão é importante que valor a Serra de Gorongosa tem, que valor as grandes árvores que aqui temos. As pessoas, podemos ver já já aqui, as árvores como desapareceram, as partes que neste momento puderam sofrer porque os homens não tinham ainda ideia de o que é exatamente isto. A parte de rios que aqui vou enumerar são rios enormes, rios que alguns já secaram, por razões do homem, a parte de cortes, a parte de fogos, mas com o Ministério do Turismo, Parque Nacional de Gorongosa, a parte relacionada com o programa florestal. Mas o que podemos fazer? A requer tempo, o uso sustentável dos recursos naturais vai precisar, vai precisar de muito tempo. Quando nós protegemos as árvores na montanha, fornece muitas águas, muitos rios, 
que muitas pessoas da montanha, ao, ao redor da montanha, tomam banho aqui lá, bebem aqui lá. Então, se nós destruímos a, a, a floresta da montanha, eles não vão ter a possibilidade de ter água. We believe this national park must serve the human beings that live around it in the areas just outside the park. They create a, a social fence all around this park, a couple of hundred thousand Mozambicans, it's their park. We want them to care about it. They must get some benefits from it or how can we ask them to set aside that much land? One of the things that we are doing here is uh, providing a mobile uh, health clinic. So uh, every other day, one of the nurses of the park goes out and uh, provides health services with communities where there is, uh, there is no such a facility provided by the, the government. Então, hoje aqui estamos nessa Brigada Móvel, na comunidade de Nhancuco, na montanha, na Serra de Gorongosa. Então, aqui estão muitas mães e também muitas crianças. Em Nhancuco não tem hospital, não tem hospital agora aproveitam aqui enquanto tem Brigada Móvel. Mas é muito importante para nós, porque está nos a ajudar a, a nossa saúde. Nangu tinakafunza kulonga kutuwa natuwa di gana tika sabizi tukafurire buo nguozi para wanao atatani wakure buo Nangu tinakanda basi wanda chironga mamu Communities can see that something is happening that is visible, that is something physical that they can touch, so they, they can feel the difference. So many hundreds, maybe thousands of families are being impacted positively by the project. We work closely with the communities that surround us. At the moment, we are about 400 staff within a Gorongosa restoration project, and this is direct jobs, permanent posts, of which 90 to 95 percent are from the local villages that surround the park. Mozambique is full of very nice people with a lot of potential. They just need opportunity. I think we create an example and uh, now other parks and reserves in Mozambique are trying to create similar initiatives like the one we are having here. Building economic opportunities for the communities that surround the park is central to achieving the project's goal of promoting human development. Just across the Pungue River is Vigno, the town where Fernandinho was raised and home to many of the park's employees. Okay, obrigado, man. Muita gente gosta lá porque é uma zona produtiva. Lá estamos próximo de, com o hospital e escola. Bom dia. Bom dia. 20% of the park's tourism revenue goes to community councils that use the funds to build needed infrastructure. In Vigno, two new school buildings and a medical clinic have been built as a result of the partnership between the village and the park. Mm. This is the head, see head.
Mbana afuna ubata basi na shinyama? Kuchimbini. Todas as crianças, a partir de 5 para lá em frente, a educação é a base deles. Eles, primeira coisa, logo de manhã, pensam a ir na escola. A educação é a base. Since the recovery efforts began in 2008, Gorongosa has seen incredible progress. Yet, the long-term success of the park depends on its ability to become self-sustaining. Ecotourism is an industry that will create employment, that will bring revenues, that will provide the necessary money to build roads, to create new schools, new health centers that they were really needing. Of course, there is still a lot to do. But we, we can feel that many people believe in a better future because there is a place like Gorongosa National Park. The best thing people can do that want to help this park is come and enjoy it. If you come here, you're going to have a fantastic experience. You're going to have it primarily to yourself. It's really wild. It's real Africa. Plus, you can be part of the story of the restoration of this magnificent place. If nobody comes back here and it doesn't survive through tourism, it's possible that the whole thing could fall apart. We don't really consider ourselves to be in the early stage of a restoration. I think we've turned that corner. I think we're ready for more tourists, and they really are the lifeblood of this park. The Car Foundation goes and teaches people. It brings those very same people to this park and tells them, well, this is yours. We are here to help but it's yours. Nobody can move it somewhere else. It will stay here forever. It belongs to Mozambicans and to everyone who wants to visit. I have an objective to achieve what I want. To defend the house of the house, defend the deforestation that exists in the sea, defend all the things that exist in the park, in the part of the conservation. É o meu objetivo que eu quero para beneficiar também o parque, porque o parque me ajudou muito. 